Unlike VFR flights where satellite navigation is only a supportive navigation aid, GNSS can be used as a primary navigation for IFR flights. Instead of flight paths that zigzag over ground-based beacons, VORs and NDBs, even general aviation pilots can and often have to plan more direct routes. The independence of satellite navigation of expensive ground equipment led to considerations about its use for approaches. Due to the fact that an approach can be constructed along a general path that can avoid obstacles better than a radio navigation path, aircraft may often descend much lower than during conventional non-precision approaches. Despite this, with a basic GNSS GPS system, it was never possible to reach the decision heights typical for precision approach, 200 feet in the case of ILS Category 1. The development and certification of advanced SBAS systems has shifted the possibilities of using satellite navigation in aviation towards this milestone. The American VAS and the European EGNOS service ensure such accuracy, reliability and availability of the GNSS signal that new types of approaches can be constructed. Naturally, the system's utility is conditional on the corresponding aircraft equipment and crew training. Since 2006 in the US and since 2016 in Europe, their approaches have been available with LPV minima and a decision height of 200 feet. In the same year, the ICO classification of approaches was changed to two types. Type A, with a minimum of 250 feet or more, is further divided into a 2D approach, which are conventional, non-precision approaches, and 3D, i.e. approach procedures with vertical guidance, APV. Type B, with a minimum of under 250 feet, only includes 3D precision approaches and is further divided into three well-known categories. The change affects several regulations, ICO annexes and, after understanding all the connections, it will even be clear that an LPV approach can be a Type A and a Type B approach. Or a novelty can be noted, non-instrument runway suitable for IFR procedure. The classification also counts on new technologies whose navigational performance is comparable to the most accurate landing systems, ILS Category 2 or 3, or Microwave MLS, not so widespread. It concerns GNSS with GBAS extension, i.e. a ground-based single runway augmentation system or a grass covering neighbouring airports. Similarly to EGNOS in its category, both systems will serve as a backup for and later replacement of legacy equipment to increase reliability, safety and reduce costs.